kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. When is Grandma getting here? You two are certainly excited to have Grandma babysit today. Maybe it has something to do with her promise to bring over something special to eat. Mmm, I wonder what it is. Grandma! Grandma! Grandma's here! Grandma's here! Now, don't worry. The kids will be just fine. You have a good time golfing. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Be good for Grandma. Okay. Have fun, kids. So, are you ready for some treats? Treats? Yes, please. I went to a special cooking class yesterday and learned all about olives. Did you know they're healthy and delicious? Caillou had never even heard of olives before. He wondered what they tasted like. I made some homemade Italian olive bread. Try some. Mmm, the olives look like chocolate chips. Yummy! Rosie really liked the bread, so Caillou thought he would like it too. Caillou didn't know what to do. He knew it wasn't polite to spit out his food. So, what do you think? Caillou didn't like the taste of olives, but he didn't know how to tell Grandma. It tastes, um, great. Oh, that's wonderful. I wasn't sure you'd like it, but now that you do, I have lots more olive treats in store for you. I hope you like crackers with a special dipping sauce. Can't you just smell the... Olives. Ah! Olives! Caillou didn't want to eat the special dipping sauce, so he came up with a clever way to avoid it. I'd better go check on the oven. Here, Caillou, help yourself to some more. Caillou! Rosie! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are we having for dinner? Pizza! Yay! Caillou loved pizza, especially the way Grandma made it. Caillou could hardly wait. Olives? That's right. Your favorite and mine. Olives. <laughs> Rosie, too. Caillou didn't want to eat the pizza, but he couldn't think of a way to tell his grandma. Something the matter. 
matter, Caillou? No, I, uh, just saw some dirt on the floor and decided to clean it. There, all gone. Plates. How wonderful! Since you both like olives so much, I'll have to make more olive treats in the future. And just wait till you try my special homemade dessert. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. He didn't want to think about what Grandma had in store for him next. Doesn't it look yummy? Eat up! Caillou couldn't stand to eat another olive. He realized he needed to tell Grandma how he felt about them. So, who's ready for some dessert? Ozzy, too! I don't like olives! <gasps> I'm sorry, but I don't like the taste. Why didn't you say something before, Caillou? I didn't know how to tell you. And you worked so hard to make us all those treats. Caillou was sure Grandma would be upset with him. <laughs> oh, Caillou. I'm glad you told me how you feel. Aren't you mad at me? No. Everyone has different tastes. You don't like olives, and I don't like beets. To each his own. Besides, I think it's nice that you were worried about my feelings. Caillou was relieved, especially when Grandma revealed her special homemade dessert. Oatmeal cookies! Caillou was delighted. There wasn't a single olive in sight. So, did you have a fun day? We sure did! Rosie me? You want me to help you put your name on it? Okay. An olive slice? What's that doing in here? Oops. I guess I have some tidying up to do. That day, Caillou learned that he could be honest with Grandma, even when it came to her cooking. <laughs> One day, Daddy and Rosie decided to play with some modeling clay. And Rosie was taking charge. Big eyes! Small tail! Big ears! Okay. Space robots flying through space. Space robots looking for aliens. Would you boys like to make something out of clay, too? No, thanks. We're having fun playing space robots. We're looking for aliens. Okay, just take it easy, then. No problem. Space robots, turbo power! <coughs> okay, Rosie, here you go. Your very own clay poodle. Be careful, it's still soft. What's our next space robot mission, Caillou? Let's explore more planets! Leo and Caillou continue to play space robots upstairs when they almost had a cosmic crash. Rosie Pluto! Careful! Oops! Sorry, Rosie. But I think it's okay. You know, that poodle looks pretty neat. Rosie Pluto! Woof woof! <laughs> Now our poodle is a guard dog. <laughs> beep, beep. Aliens are in the area. We have to go. Oh? Alien <laughs> escape. Come back. <laughs> Thank you. 
he must pick up the space food. Wow! Look, alien headquarters! That space poodle needs rescuing. We must escape the aliens' super turbo power! Unfortunately for Caillou, all of his space robot flying made him very dizzy. Whoa! I've got it! Uh-oh. Caillou was worried. He knew how upset Rosie would be if anything happened to her poodle. And that poodle was squash -a doodled Doggy! <gasps> That's right, Rosie. Oh, no! It's Rosie! Quick, hide it! Caillou and Leo tried their best to keep Rosie from entering the room. Rosie Poodle? Uh, uh, you can't come in, human! It is not safe. Aliens everywhere. Danger! Code Red, stay away! Rosie want Poodle! Who wants to go to the park? Me, me, me! Rosie, Rosie! We're gonna stay here with Mommy. Whew, that was close. But what are we gonna do? Rosie will be so upset if she finds out we broke her poodle. Caillou and Leo came up with a plan to solve their problem. Let's make another poodle, just like the one we broke. Yeah, maybe Rosie won't even notice. The boys got to work on making a new poodle dog for Rosie. It doesn't look like a poodle. It looks like a half elephant, half poodle. It's an elephant poodle. <laughs> the boy's creation seemed to get wackier and wackier. That's not a poodle. It's a hippopotamus monkey. <laughs> And the boy's giggling got louder and louder. <laughs> it's a lion noodle! <laughs> the boys tried one more time to make a poodle. Ta-da! It looks like a poodle. Um, well, sort of. It doesn't look anything like the one Daddy made with Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Mommy! How was the party? Oh, no! Rosie's back! Hurry! We need to get this poodle back in front of her dollhouse. If you space robots need to refuel, I made some space lemonade. Some very interesting animals. Hey there. Uh, is there something wrong, Caillou? Caillou felt bad about trying to trick Rosie with their poodle. He decided to do the right thing. We were having fun with our space robots, but we got a little carried away, and... and... and we squished Rosie's clay poodle. We tried to make a new one, but it's not very good. Caillou turned to Rosie, expecting her to be very upset. Aminos! Aminos! He was surprised to see she was so happy. I'm glad you boys admitted to your mistake. But Rosie found the other animals you made. And I think she loves them even more than the poodle. Aminos! <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I like your aminos. They're very inventive. Thanks. Look, Rosie. This one's a hippopotamus monkey. And this one's a lion noodle. <laughs> Caillou and Leo had learned an important lesson. It was much better to own up to their mistakes and tell the truth. Thank <laughs> you.
<coughs> oh, no! Not again! Caillou's neighbor, Mrs. Howard, was cleaning up her cellar. It wasn't an easy job. Hmm. The Lightning Ball Express! Mrs. Howard, come in. I hope you don't mind, but I brought over something special. I think Caillou's going to love it. Hello, Caillou. I have something to show you. The Lightning Ball Express. It's a perfect scale model of a coal-fired train, complete with caboose. Choo-choo? That's right, Rosie. A train. An electric train. It was my son's favorite toy when he was growing up. Why, I hadn't seen it in years. Wow, it's great! I know what. How would you like to borrow it for a while? Really? Yes, please, Mrs. Howard. Thank you! Caillou was very happy. He couldn't wait to try out Mrs. Howard's train. For the rest of the day, Caillou sent Mrs. Howard's train traveling all over the house. <laughs> Uh-oh, there goes my train of thought. Does the conductor want a snack? time with Mrs. Howard's train. All aboard! Attention! The Caillou Express is pulling into Gilbert the Cat Station. <gasps> oh no! Mrs. Howard's train! What am I going to tell Mrs. Howard? Caillou was very upset. He had broken Mrs. Howard's train. He didn't know what to do. Caillou, is everything okay? I heard a noise. Everything's fine. I was just, uh, making up sounds for the train. Uh, Chris Smash, Crunch, Flam. <laughs> okay. Caillou wanted to make sure Mrs. Howard never found out about the broken train. He knew she'd be very upset. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing anything. Well, then, I think you've spent enough time indoors. How about a trip to the park for some fresh air? Okay. Caillou was having so much fun on the swings, he forgot all about Mrs. Howard's broken train. Hello, Caillou! <gasps> that was a close one. Caillou didn't want Mrs. Howard to find him, because he didn't want to explain what happened to her train. Hi, Caillou. I was hoping to run into you. Look what I found for the train set. A cattle car. Uh, thanks. Oh, that was odd. Yes, indeed. As Caillou and Mommy walked home, he worried they would run into Mrs. Howard. All right, Caillou. What's this all about? Why are you hiding? Hiding? I'm not hiding. Caillou! 
I found another piece to add to the train set. A water tower. Oh, well, isn't that nice, Caillou? Now, where did he go? That's the second time he's done that today. I wonder what's wrong. Is it something I said? Caillou, can you come out here, please? Mrs. Howard and I would like to speak with you. Oh, hi, Caillou. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Ducky and I are just having a little soak. Hi there, Caillou. Uh, I, I don't mean to pry, but is there something the matter? I broke your train, Mrs. Howard. Oh, the old Thunderball Express. Broken again. I'll let you in on a little secret, Caillou. My son broke this train hundreds of times. I became an expert on how to fix it because it got broken so often. So don't worry, Caillou. Accidents happen. Oh, I'm so glad you're not upset with me. Me too, Caillou. But if anything like this ever happens again, you need to ask for help. Rather than covering up your tracks. <laughs> I'll head on home and fix this up right away. All aboard! Caillou was glad he wasn't hiding from Mrs. Howard anymore. Because Mrs. Howard was a fantastic train conductor. Woo -woo! Please car.